I've been putting together expert Legos, 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 Legos. They're expert Legos. Dancing. That looks like a big cherry. <laughs> big? Big? Hush. Are you calling me big? Oh, sorry, I'm hurt. What? You could go to rehab for binge eating disorder. Cool, cool, but I don't need to, thankfully. Only talks about themselves. <laughs> Amberlynn. Becky is feeling herself. Are you? I have bad, like, hiccups and gas right now. So you guys are back together new. We're not. We are both single. These post breakup streams are so uncomfortable to watch. Amberlyn looks miserable and Becky looks sleepy. Amberlyn keeps making comments about the breakup and how sad she is. Amberlyn, I'm going through a seven year breakup. I know it's hard, but you got this. Yeah, it is hard. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry that you're going through that. Um, I'm sorry. Are you guys staying friends or anything? For some reason, staying friends just, it helps. You look miserable, goals. So what do you mean it helps Lowell? Hi guys, hope you're well. Thank you, Riley. What is a lesson that this breakup has taught you? Wishing both happiness. Thank you, Erica. Um, a lesson. Oh man, a lesson. I feel like I learn a lesson every day. I don't know. How do you word it? What? Like I thought we were forever and like you blindsided me. Who said that? I did. Oh, are you still on the... The lesson thing? one. Like, what's, what's, what is a lesson in that that you can't trust everyone? <laughs> I don't know. When they announced the breakup, it seemed like both understood why they needed it to break up and better themselves. But these past videos, it looks like Amberlynn is bitter and is constantly trying to make Becky feel bad for the decision. Um, yes, Becky and I do um, share all money from live streams or all money in general. <laughs> do you want me to be in charge of this? No, just don't worry. <laughs> I don't, my phone's dead okay. or else I would have it. The as you should go, Becky is your caretaker, she earned that money. Also, do you guys think she would still pay her even after the breakup? Yeah, I feel like we've said everything. Yeah, I can't think of anything. I wish I had something juicy, but I ain't got nothing because we've said it all. You could tell us about the Dusty and Darnity. We want to know Gore. Is there anything you're excited about, Amberlynn? New adventures can be scary, but exciting. Um, currently, no. If I'm being honest, there's nothing that I'm excited about. Why do I feel like this is all an act to make Becky feel bad? When she had her hysterectomy, she looked like she was ready to move in with her mom and leave Becky, but now there is nothing exciting. Come on, go. Have you taken this far to go your separate ways? We are Separate already... ways is such like a weird way of putting it. Yeah. We're not going our separate ways. We are just ending yeah. our romantic, romantic relationship. relationship. Yeah. Um, but whenever it comes to ending the romantic relationship, we have started going through things that we've shared together and deciding, you know, do we want it or do we want to get Which rid of it? Which has been really hard. Yeah. Can they just whether we are mature and different goal you look miserable and it might be better to go your separate ways and not be stuck with each other i was crying because i have i'm not saying this breakup is easier on becky because that's definitely not the case that definitely is the case becky looks like she got her shit together the only problem is money and i'm sure she will be okay but when you look at it you know she broke up with me and i'm kind of like stuck here like oh my god where do i go from here you know she has all her answers she knows where she wants to live and everything like that. I am extremely confused and her ducks are in order more than mine is, I guess you could say, in a little sense. In certain areas. Exactly. And then in certain areas, so are yours. Yeah, so I was crying like a like a little child, so I totally believe her, because this is not a normal breakup. Their relationship was so codependent that Amberlyn has to start from zero without Becky. She has to figure out how to do all the things that Becky took care of. Now they start talking about foodie beauty and her new habits. Anyone who defends Chanta after the recent events is enabling her very serious situation type deal, which is not okay. Um, Amberlynn, what do you think of foodie beauty lying about being addicted and using on stream? I think that it's none of our business. Um, as a viewer, I'm, I'm her friend, so, but as a viewer, it's no one's business what she's addicted to, who she sees in her life, what she does in her life. It is ultimately up to her and what she wants to share. And I feel like addiction is super private. Um, people who are addicted to drugs lie to their family. And no tea, no shade, but obviously family is more important than viewers. Like, anyone could say that. That's not me just like being whatever. So her lying to her viewers over an addiction is completely and utterly normal, and she should not be called a liar because of it. Um, well, think about why do people lie about things? Because people have terrible, stupid reactions. If somebody were to, you know, confess something to you, you don't 
You don't do that. Yeah, because then that's going to make people not want to tell you. Amberlin's parents were both drug addicts, and they chose drugs over her. It's interesting how forgiving and understanding she is with Chantal, when she has always talked bad about her parent and their drug issues. These two apparently don't even watch Chantal, she said that she lied about using, because she was in denial, not because of people's reactions. Also, she lives streams for 10 hours a day, but it is none of our business what she does. What planet are y'all in? Also, Chantal has been acting reckless driving while being high, and running over animals on the road, I don't know why would anyone would want to claim her as their friend Lowell. Also, are we really defending a 37-year-old addict who was bored, and decided to try new things, and ended up liking it too much? There was Chantal Ice acting, I don't feel bad at all. Thanks. I think you approach it with support and caring. Yeah. How do you support a drug addict Bexter? By giving them super chats. By defending their behavior in front of thousands of people. Just like my mom, my mom was also super really big into like video games like Zelda and Mario. And then she played them so much so often and also did labor, you know, she worked for a living. She ended up with carpal tunnel and couldn't play anymore. So it's like dad couldn't play guitar anymore. Mom couldn't play video games anymore because their hands were just crap. Right. Happy early birthday, Jordan. Narcissist Lynn only cares if she is talking or she is the topic. Becky is talking about her mom and all she gets as a respond is open quote right and continues with the super chats. I guarantee if Becky was talking about Amberlynn, she would have started crying. Does the breakup have anything to do with you not being friends with Dana anymore? No, but the breakup does have to do with why me and Dana are now friends again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Weirdly enough. WTF does that mean? Are they bonding over the breakup? Because Umberlin is giving away they things they don't need. Dana was asking for money a week ago. Our goal has definitely has her back cape on to the rescue. Amberlin, this would be such an amazing time to try to find a therapist. Yeah. Stop telling her to get therapy. She just said she doesn't believe in it. If she doesn't want to better her life, why should we care? We are just here for the train wreck. <coughs> Trying to make Be Becky feel bad for leaving you, huh? Question mark. Well... She proposed to me. This is all stuff we've talked about, so I'm not throwing shade, okay? She proposed to me, and we were in love, and we had some of our future planned. So, yeah, she should feel like fucking utter shit for breaking my heart. Who's to say I don't? It is what it is. But I don't want her to feel that way. Finally, we hear some truth. But if you are going to tell the truth, tell the whole truth. From our point of view, you look like you want her to feel bad point blank period goal. Uh, can only imagine how abusive Amber is to Becky off camera, judging by how rude and toxic she is being now. Do what you need to, Becky, wishing you happiness. You guys, you got it all wrong, I'm just telling you. I don't understand what you mean, abuse. Why would she want to stay my friend? Why would her family want me to stay a part of their family if I abuse Becky? Because Becky's mouth, now that we're friends, we can throw shade in certain ways. She has a big mouth. It's manipulation, and we all can see it but Becky. I would love for her to do a video about this topic a year after this video and see if she would still feel like way. Amber, can you live with a family member? I don't want to. I don't want to live with anyone. I would love to see Amberlynn on her own in the new season. But it is just not realistic she can't take care of herself, and I'm not talking about showering. The whole point of a relationship is to work through things together. I can see how hurt you are, Amber. You deserve someone who won't betray you. F you, Becky. I didn't know I was going to say all that because I read it. I didn't read it and then read That's it. Okay. I just read it. It's okay. Damn! I mean, I agree with some of that. I've said it, <laughs> not the F you part. Mm -hmm. She loved that comment, and she can't even lie low. Becky never reads mean comments, but a girl loves the drama. Like the part where, you know, you work through things together, but there's a difference. Like, sometimes a person sometimes just doesn't want to. Is she talking about herself or Becky? She is insinuating that Becky didn't want to work together, but Becky said that they made plans for Amberlynn to move more and lose weight, but she never pulled through, so it seems like you are the problem goal. Well, you can't anymore, because me and Amberlynn have had our problems more than once, mm -hmm. and we've almost broken up more than once, and we always push well, through it and said, okay, well, this time, this time around, it'll be different, and we'll be better, and we'll, you know, no, no. nothing changed yet again. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's on me, and it's on you. It is. It is on me. So it's like, I just don't think it's fixable like that right now. Especially whenever, you know, there is no romance anymore. Nope. But of course, you know, of course, I still love and care about you. Mm -hmm. Of course I do. Yopago wants Becky to stay, but she is not ready to change. Yet she sits her accusing Becky of blindsiding her. Becky, why did you bring this up to Amber as you started feeling this way? It's not nice to spring this on a partner you were building a life with. I will admit it was very, very random. Um... She was at her family's for the weekend. Everything was fine on Friday. You know, calling me babe and text messages. Like, everything was normal. Woke up on Saturday and, like, 
it was just really weird. I felt like there was a weirdness, and I don't know, there was no argument, we didn't argue nothing. This is what Amberlynn does, just listen and you would think that Becky randomly decided to break up, but of course this is not the full story. Now listen to Becky, and what actually happened. That's fun. So, it, for me, it did come out of nowhere for sure. But, but I mean, here, <clears throat> we had a really bad fight. We did, we had a bad, bad fight. Not this past Monday, but the Monday before. Mm -hmm. Because what started the argument was me telling her how I felt. And it would happen a lot. I would tell her how I felt, and we would argue. Um, that's also something that shouldn't happen. There is no need for speculations. Becky tells us all we need to know. She is tired of being the caretaker, and she finally was brave enough to tell Amberlynn that they need to go their separate ways. <clears throat> it's just like, you know, it made me realize that I have a lot to learn about myself and to grow and to find peace and just be better. I, know, I want too. to take care of my health. I want to agree my mother properly. I can't be taking care of this and that and the other whenever I'm over here barely able to take care of myself. You know? Yeah. I don't want to answer my sister's call. I don't want to have to talk to anybody. I don't want to have to take Twinkie out. I don't want to have to come in here and see you. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to... And it's like, I can't. Right. I have to constantly be on the go because people depend on me. I mean, I understand what she is saying, but that's real life. People struggle with tens of different things, and at the end of the day they have to take care of their responsibilities. There are people like Becky who go through the same thing and they have to go to work and take care of their children too. But I do get it, she was probably overwhelmed with all the things that happened. Well, you need to have moments where people don't depend on you, where you're just like, yo, I'm checking out for the day. Gore, what do you mean people? Becky was talking about you wake up and be reasonable for a damn second. Did Becky feel like a caretaker? I hope no. not, because she didn't do anything caretaker -y. No, why not? Care why would I feel like a caretaker? Because he went and got grocery, you took the pets to the vet, and for walks you drove Amberlynn to wherever she wanted, I guarantee that Becky opened the door when you greets arrived, you don't have to wash her ass, to be a caretaker Lowell. Which you did when she got surgery, but we will let that pass. Also, you just said, that you are tired of being responsible for everyone, so pick a struggle goal. Do you feel if you actually lost weight and stuck to a diet, Becky would have stayed with you and not ended it? I, it's not my weight. It's not. Yeah. Because if, if it had ever been her weight, why would I have gotten with her? Yeah. Which proves what we all being saying. Amberlynn's weight is not her biggest problem. She has a lot to work on. Don't write on me. What we do here is go back, 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 back.